Well, of course, we know all that this debate uh, we are having today is partially because of the Nord Stream uh, attacks. Uh, but uh, our critical infrastructure is vulnerable and have many vulnerabilities towards other means rather than physical attacks, uh, also coercion, sabotage, espionage, etc. And uh, partially because some colleagues already covered, let's say, the physical aspects, we will be discussing uh, next plenary, the NIS 2 directive, so cybersecurity will be also done in another session. I want to kind of focus on the aspect of espionage. Uh, our uh, information services in Czech Republic, where I am from, uh, uncovered a certain Russian spy within our institutions. But th this is a problem for even European institutions, from national member states, and of course for our companies, and I don't hear often that we are dealing with uh, espionage and how are we dealing with it, not only, of course, from Russia, from China too. And uh, I would like to hear from uh, your perspective and from Commission what is being done in this uh, regards. Thank you. Dear Vice President, Chinas. Yes, uh, as you may understand, the European Union does not have our own uh, intelligent uh, agency and intelligence agency and i don't think it would be wise that we create an additional layer on uh, intelligence agency at the european level what i think it's much more valuable and it's happening is to be able to harvest from the richness of the intelligence information that our national agencies develop so that we can all pull resources and face common challenges for this there is an element of trust that is needed. Our national intelligence agencies do not always feel uh, this need to share. <laughs> I think this is something that is changing increasingly, but then we should not forget either that these national intelligence agencies are crafted in a way not to share, <laughs> even very often within their national uh, situation. So my job uh, within this uh, EU security union that we're constructing is to create a synergetic culture of exchange information and awareness between our intelligence bodies. I think this is happening. Europol uh, is also emerging as a hub of uh, information exchange on very... Uh, 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 dubious uh, practices, and I think that we are reaching now a point where this level of trust is emerging uh, naturally as a result of the communality of threats that, that we are facing. Thank you. Additional question? Thank you very much for the answer. Uh, I do understand that, of course, the European Union cannot have its own intelligence services, and I thank you for uh, the information about the cooperation for national member states. But if we were very specific, and let's say there was a Russian spy in the European Commission, who is the one who would uncover that? Yes, this is... Uh... Nicely put, it's a lateral question uh, to your previous one, but not the same. Uh, indeed, uh, for all our uh, security, for all our personnel employed in the institutions, not only the Commission, but in all the European Union institutions, we have very strong internal rules, uh, not only of screening and, and, and determining threat profiles depending on the type of jobs that our staff assumes, but also very comprehensive uh, training courses from the start of the professional career in the institutions that inform our staff of the risks involved, of the dangers involved. And I would like to see, working together with my uh, colleague Johannes Hahn, who is in charge of our administration and our budget, I would like to see that the very successful level of uh, expertise that we have in the Commission in these areas is also shared uh, broadly uh, amongst the institutions, including this house, which by its specificity as being uh, an assembly uh, has more openness, more people coming in, more, more uh, exposure, if you like, to security risks. I take this opportunity of your very uh, hospitable uh, reception this afternoon to reiterate our call for a common security approach between institutions against this kind of uh, threats or risks. We are doing, by the way, exactly this, working together 
on cybersecurity through the EU CERT network, which is a success story. I'm sure that we can build on, on top of this uh, EU CERT success to do more, including in the sensitive area you just mentioned. Thank you very much. Unser nächster Redner ist Herr. The next speaker is Mr. Antonis Mandel.